It's crazy how Jenna Ortega went from being loved to being straight up attacked on the daily by her fans. And the reason for that is because of accusations about her being a mean girl. I want y'all to be so for real right now. Whenever you go on the internet, you can find articles and videos of people accusing Jenna of being a mean girl, not only on camera, but behind the scenes as well. Since she recently got called out for setting a very bad example for her young fans and people are leaving the fandom because of it. So without further ado, you guys, let's just go ahead and address the drama surrounding Jenna and the mean allegations. If you guys know Jenna, then you probably know she's one of the biggest stars ever currently in Hollywood. Not only did her Netflix show Wednesday attract millions of people worldwide, but they even fell in love with Jenna's character in the show to the point where fans started going in public and trying to impersonate her. You know, you would think that Jenna's character in the show was the only thing that attracted people to her, but instead, Jenna's personality in real life was actually the reason why so many people started supporting her as they found many similarities between her character and Jenna in general. Now, the question is, is it actually a good thing that people are comparing Jenna's personality to her character? Um, I don't think so. Because the Wednesday character is known for being bold, rude, and even impolite to the people around her. And while so many fans are now realizing that Jenna acts the same way as Wednesday in real life, and she is not what she seems to be online. People have always thought that Jenna was very rude on difficult occasions, whether it would be an interview or a press conference. However, there's still zero evidence that supports this accusation, but based on how she interacts with fans and people around her, a lot of them believe that Jenna is in fact rude, just like her character Wednesday. The crazy part about this, you guys, is that even Jenna herself claimed that people have always compared her personality to Wednesday when she was young and that she has the same characteristics as her personality traits and fashion style. The Latina actress 20 was quoted in the press notes as saying that Wednesday is somebody who I've been compared to my entire life. People always told me I reminded them of Wednesday, she said before quipping, I think because I tend to be very dry and modest. Tone. This probably explains why Tim Burton, who's the director of the show, chose Jenna to play Wednesday, since she probably seemed fit for this type of role as her personality and her character were quite similar. But does that mean that Jenna is happy with being compared to Wednesday's personality? I would say yes, because during the premiere of Wednesday, Jenna decided to open up about how weird she was as a child after she claimed that she used to perform autopsies on dead animals. A weirdo. And I'm a weirdo in like the, uh, used to perform autopsies on little animals when I was younger, <laughs> like little lizards that I found that were dead in my backyard. Excuse me? Despite how Jenna was trying so hard to promote the show by stirring up controversies about herself, she still managed to get attacked by millions of people because of her actions after they started calling her a weirdo and a creep. And y'all, even some of them started diagnosing her with mental illnesses and comparing her actions to Jeffrey Dahmer, who used to perform autopsies on dead animals too. Isn't it just crazy how people think that they know a person based on what they see about them on social media? I mean, if you think about it, Jenna could have been lying about performing autopsies just to promote her show. But still, you can find people making assumptions and accusations based on what they see online because as much as Jenna is loved by the media, she is still one of the most targeted actresses in Hollywood currently. There hasn't been a day where Jenna Ortega isn't being followed by the paparazzi around the streets and just recently she was caught by a paparazzi smoking a cigarette, which made her get attacked by millions of people for setting a bad example for her fans. Despite how Jenna was smoking a cigarette and drinking just like millions of celebs who do the same thing behind closed doors, she still managed to get attacked by tons of people online for encouraging smoking to her young fans. And while this situation started a huge debate on social media as some of them claimed that Jenna was trying to lose weight, while others claimed that Jenna was only taking her stress out on smoking because of the industry overworking her. Either way, people were not happy to witness Jenna smoking in public. In fact, Jenna's mother, who's a nurse, also spoke about her daughter smoking after she went on Instagram and started sharing shady posts about Jenna and how smoking doesn't make you look cool. Check this out. The problem with smoking is that most people find the smell to be repulsive. That quickly counters anything about visuals that look cool. Don't believe those lies about cigarettes being bad for you. I've been smoking for most of my 21 years and I feel great. Even though Jenna's mother was very concerned about her daughter's health, a lot of people found her actions very rude and childish, considering the fact that her daughter is a huge public figure. Now, I don't know where to stand in this situation because 
because I understand her mother's concerns, but I would have preferred if she messaged Jenna privately regarding it. Either way, Jenna started trending over these videos of her smoking, and as a result, many fans started leaving the fandom for setting a bad example for children, aka the majority of her fans. It's actually unfortunate that most of Jenna's fans are young, and the reason for that is because of her show Wednesday, as it helped put her in the spotlight and gain so much attention from the younger audience. I mean, if you look at Jenna's old projects, almost all of her movies were made for older audiences, so for her to do Wednesday, which is a child-friendly TV show, was kind of strange for her. Yes, you might think that Jenna was satisfied with the Wednesday hype, but trust me, I don't think she ever was. Because Jenna spoke up multiple times about how she was surprised to see Wednesday being PG-friendly and how she's going to up the horror aspect and change everything in season two. Uh, do you have any idea where you're gonna go this season at all? Um, I don't know. I think uh, they, we just started getting a writer's room together and kind of talking about it. And everyone's being really cool. I think we want to up kind of the horror aspect a little bit and then get Wednesday out of the romantic situation and just let her be her own individual and fight her own crime. Yeah. <laughs> Because of that, you guys, Jenna expressed in multiple interviews how she disliked the Wednesday script that the director gave her and how she would usually change most of the lines during the set because they seemed cringe to her. I had to go no. There were times on that set where I even became almost unprofessional in a sense where I just started changing lines. The script supervisor thought I was going with something and then I had to sit down with the writers and be like, wait, what happened to the scene? And I'd have to go and explain why I couldn't do certain things. After Jenna spoke about this issue in an interview, Interview and claimed that she basically saved the show. One of the producers for Wednesday called Steven, decided to call Jenna out for being so difficult to work with as she used to be very demanding and controlling in the process of shooting Wednesday. Here's what he said. She's young, so maybe she doesn't know any better, but she should, DeKnight wrote on Twitter. She should also ask herself how she would feel if the showrunners gave an interview and talked about how difficult she was and refused to perform the material. He added, this kind of statement is beyond entitled and toxic. I I love her work, but life's too short to deal with people like this in the business. As much as Steven was trying to drag Jenna down for being difficult to work with, a lot of people defended Jenna in this situation as the majority of them were huge fans of Wednesday and how it was written and produced. However, Jenna recently went in an interview to talk about how she was silenced by many producers while filming Wednesday and how she's gonna get control of the show moving forward after she was announced as a producer on Wednesday season two. I feel really, really lucky and fortunate to be coming on as a producer this time around and I think it's because I think a project is best when there's as many voices and, and you know uh, ideas thrown out as possible and I've had experiences on television where I felt like my, my voice wasn't heard I've been told on sets uh, you wouldn't know because uh, you know you're not a writer or like just shut up and do your job. Yep. I'm glad Jenna made this decision for her career since Wednesday is one of the biggest shows ever in the world. However, I wouldn't say the fans are excited for season two of Wednesday because they have been calling Jenna out for months now to stop being friends with her cast member, Percy Hines White. Ever since Percy got exposed by multiple victims for being a predator and a racist, fans have been asking Jenna to distance herself from Percy due to his controversies to the point where they started accusing Percy again of being a creep after this video of him touching Jenna in a appropriately went viral. Either way, you guys, Jenna did not care about what any of her fans were saying about her friendship with Percy, but instead she decided to support him and ignore her fans completely, which not only upset millions of people, but also the victims who begged Jenna to speak on the issue. This situation, you guys, low-key started a hate train towards Jenna after tons of people on social media started sending hateful and mean tweets towards her. And y'all, it actually took months for Percy to address the allegations towards him publicly after he released a statement this week claiming that all the accusations that were made about him by the victims were false and that people are now doxing his family because of it. Hey everyone, there's something I need to clarify. Earlier this year, somebody I've never met started a campaign of misinformation about me online. Because of this, my family has been doxed and my friends have received death threats. Underage photos of me were used and examples of me acting in character were presented as hateful. My friend Jane was falsely portrayed as a victim and her attempts to set the record straight have been ignored. She gave me permission to include her in this message. The rumors are false. I can't accept the portrayal of me as someone bigoted or criminally negligent of people's safety. These are the kind of baseless, harmful claims that can create mistrust toward victims. It is very distressing to know that this misinformation has upset people. I'm really thankful for everyone who stood by me and helped share the facts. Harassment of my family, friends, and co-workers needs to stop, please. Thank you for taking the time to read this. 
Percy. As you can see, even Jenna was brought up in the conversation about people sending hate towards her because many fans were not happy to see her still hanging out with Percy and supporting him as a friend. And from this statement alone, Jenna made things even worse for her as she appeared to be defending him from the accusations. Here's how people reacted to the situation. Bruh, it's been six months, now you look even more guilty instead of addressing the accusations when they first started. Why does no one talk about the fact that Jenna and co still follow him? Anyways, that confirms Percy still in season two of Wednesday and Jenna is cool with him. The Jenna Ortega hate train has started. Percy Hines White, this is all your fault. I would love to hear your opinions on the situation down below, but for now, make sure to click on the tab above for more videos on these celebrities.